Kuroko no baskets, aka Kuroko's basketball. So, I told you guys beforehand that I had seen the show about five years, six years ago, my sophomore year. I think I saw, I watched this. Mm-hmm. So, there, I told you I'd put this on there because it's funny because we all watch basketball or play basketball. And this is just so not realistic, but it's also so funny yeah. just seeing like there's this take on basketball. It, it's pretty funny. So maybe I'll, this is honestly just what Japan does for basketball, no, dude. I don't think so. I don't dude. think they have guys like, who can shoot full court contestants. <laughs> yeah, facts. They'd be in the you NBA. No, they just stay in Japan. They're too loyal, apparently. No, trust me, no. Because there's been ja- there's been Japanese NBA players, but Utah. Just, yeah, yeah, they're just not very like competitively good against. Like oh, NBA. I know. I know. So, a man can imagine. Kuroko's No Basket, Kuroko's Basketball, is about this group of kids who played basketball at one school in Japan in the middle school called the Generations of Miracles. By the way, that's a fucking badass name. <laughs> that's so dope. Yes. Yeah, the Generation is, of Miracles. Basically, they were the five most dominant players in middle school ever. <laughs> And together they form this super duper super death team. Yep. They each have a ability or specialty they would do. You find out that there was a sixth member who also had a specialty named Kuroko. Kuroko plays basketball at Seiren. There's this new kid there who transferred from America. But he's Japanese named Kagami. They team up. They're trying to take down each and every member of the Generation of Miracles to win their high school cup tournament thing basically what it is yep. they want to be the best pretty much yeah that's pretty much about it yes so i want to preface this by saying i watched this originally in japanese i watched it this time in english the english is not as good as the japanese by far it was good the japanese that's for sure i feel like some I... of the characters just voices don't match each other like their face yeah I, I could see that i don't know i watched it on the english i didn't really have that many i don't know i didn't have many problems with it i guess so <laughs> It's pretty. It's, I like the show a lot. I think so. There's a lot of good comedy in here. There's not a plot. There really isn't. The plot is like, we want to be the best. Like, and it's just they're them training and playing basketball to get better, and then them playing them. It's pretty much just story. Yep. pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. So I just but there's I'm some good moments. I'm very fine with that. One of my favorite moments is when they first get to the gym when they're doing the recruitment for the club, and she goes, "All right, take them off," and they go, "Huh?" <laughs> and she she goes, "Take your shirt off." And they're, they're like. <laughs> no thank you bam took it off <laughs> and then she got to my boy Kagami she started drooling bro yeah Kagami looks like he's cut out of fucking stone dog he had the 18 pack looks like he can bench mm-hmm. press 295 pounds yeah he had the Jared Padalecki going <laughs> you just look crazy and <laughs> then she got to my boy Kuroko he said, said alright I got my shirt off she said you're fucking garbage <laughs> He said, come on, man. <laughs> uh, Kuroko's a little goon, dude. I love him. He just doesn't. He yeah, just like, he's, he's cool. hilarious, dude. He's so monotone. Just, hey, guys. He's just L if he played basketball. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just like, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to win a championship. <laughs> so, Every time he startles someone, I think it's hilarious. Yes. So basically, Kuroko and, and Kagami are like, Blake and CP3 basically right it's just the big man who can rim run and then the little dude who can pass right okay I, I was thinking Steve Nash and Amari this whole time but that actually works too well yeah it's just it's it's, it's a combo it's we've seen the same before. concept yeah it's same a concept. point guard and a power forward that can play well right right exactly Kagami mm-hmm. literally can only dunk like this motherfucker sucks yeah. <laughs> like they keep yeah. building up like he's icy he is not icy he can only dunk nope. and rebound and defend this dude can't shoot. He don't got a handle. He's just athletic and can dunk and can block. Yep. But I, it's enough in this show. Kuroko. For now. Kuroko's legitimately icy. Like, his passing game on point. Like, they try to treat him like Kuroko's like, oh, he can only pass. Dude, he's making these jabronis. Like, he's got like 30 assists each game. <laughs> Dude's throwing <laughs> dots all over the court. So they get a practice game in, and then they go straight into it. My dog Kisei shows up with the drip, dude, of Kise course. Dope. 
Dukisa yep. came in with the dress shirt, two buttons down, open chest, let you see the chest meet. Then he's got the <laughs> he's got the hoop. He's got the MJ earring, bro. He's got the I MJ hoop. And it's only on I one ear, that. man. He's so icy. <laughs> he just dripped out of his that mind. Dude. He just came and dripped out of his mind. And then they played a game. And it was some bullshit. Kisei should have won that game. Probably. Oh, and especially what we saw later in the season, Kisei should have yes. won that game. <laughs> Kisei 100% should have won that game. Because Kisei and later was going crazy. <laughs> yes, he was. But through some shenanigans, they end up winning off a buzzer beater alley oop, which is bold strategy cotton. Oh, dude, that. But it worked out. The commentary on that, man. <laughs> dude, I love that it is when. The <laughs> buzzer beater. <laughs> My guy, dude, it sounds good. I love it when it goes one and then they take like 27 seconds to do <laughs> yeah, a play. Right? And they get it off right, before dude. one somehow. <laughs> Yeah, it's one second left, and they still have four passes before they get a shot off. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's awesome every time. I like that, and then the whole, like, whoever scores the first basket wins thing. Oh, <laughs> that's also too. great. <laughs> They're like, oh, they scored the first basket. That means they have the momentum. I'm like, okay, like, I understand what you're going for here, but, like, that's not how it works. It's also so funny to me how basic basketball concepts are so shocking in the show. Like when I know, when yeah. Kuroko does the, they make the, the, the steal from the back, when like yeah. he lets him pass, he goes and they go, Nani, how did he do the back tip? <laughs> it's like the back tip, <laughs> dude. The alley oop too. That one was funny too. They're like, that's oh, I've only seen that so many times. That's a alley oop. I'm like, yeah. To be fair, <laughs> when you right. realize that Kagami's like six two and he's getting that kind of bounce, yeah, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Like that I dude's agree, got a crazy bird. <laughs> I also they're legitimately surprised every time someone makes a free throw in this show. <laughs> yeah, and then somebody's just hitting half court shots. They're like, oh yeah, hey, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> right. Hey man, we've already yeah. All right, so then we get this dude, green hair man. They all have eccentric colored hairs. One's got yellow. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. One's got green. One's got blue. We've seen the other two, but we you know we haven't seen them yet. You know what I mean? But yes. so yeah. this dude loves horoscopes. He loves astrology. Yeah. Midorima. Yeah, Midorima. And he's a fucking sniper. Like, think of yeah. Steph Curry. Yeah. If Steph Curry just smoked crack and then <laughs> added three more Steph Currys to Steph Curry and then just yeah. added KD to Steph Curry. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Like, this dude, his whole gimmick is that he's the deadliest shooter on the planet. <laughs> In the world, the entire world, dude. Because There's nobody that can compete. He's got the quickest release ever. <laughs> he also <laughs> yeah. has the highest arc okay. ever. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Quick counter. Uh, The point is that his release is not quick. No. The closer That's he is, part the of quicker the point it they is. Make later. No. What they said was... Oh, the, the closer he is, yes. yes Sorry, the closer that's, he is. That's what I'm talking about, dude. He was at the three-point line, and literally before he even could beat a hand up, the shit was in the boot in the bucket already. Yeah. They literally have a scene where he catches it, rips it up, and it's down, and he's already back on defense when they realize yeah. it went in. That's because he got the, the sky rainbow shit. He's got, I got the sky of doom. And depending on what he, you know, he's unstoppable depending on his horoscope, man. <laughs> I was gonna say, dude, the first time I saw that when he just did the rainbow show, I was like, all right, cool, nice. Yeah, that's OP. Like, are you serious? And then he did a full court. <laughs> he's by far, and I don't care what you guys say, he's by far the most overpowered dude in the show. Mm. Yes. Mm. Based on some other stuff, I would say it's very possible. I would say my dog is more overpowered, but we'll get to he him. Say? Well, no, no, the other dog. No, no. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. I think I so. The, oh. I, I, the only thing is, you could argue Kise because he could copy Midorima's jump shot, if that was possible. I don't know. I haven't watched the next season or two seasons, I guess. But, I mean, if he could copy that jump shot, then I guess, Mita, or I guess Kise is the dopest and most overpowered character. Possibly. So, so Midorima can't miss unless you block it. That's pretty fucked, <laughs> right? Yes. Especially because he's got an unblockable shot. 
and he's got a Hawkeye teammate whose whole thing is I can see the entire court at all times versus the Eagle Eye. They end up doing it. Vance pulled. He's got all the 2K badges, by the way. (laughs) All the 2K badges. Somehow, they end up fucking beating him. All right. I'm going to call shenanigans right now. (laughs) Same. (laughs) Me too. In no way, shape, or form should they have beat him. I don't care how high Kagami can jump. <laughs> this, yeah, no way. This dude can't shoot a jumper. You're telling me he's beating the dude he can make it rain. <laughs> all they had to do, literally, all he they had scared, to do, shaking in his boots, was not have Minorima be an asshole and try to shoot full courts. All he has to do is just get to the three point line, pick and roll, <laughs> and he just he, you, you're losing. <laughs> but since he I wants know, to be dude. an asshole, he's like he's like full court. <laughs> Terrible, terrible coaching. Yeah, the coach should end himself. <laughs> yeah, you should not lose with that dude on the court. Also, we get the introduction of Koroko's next ability on this. Ignite pass. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, that shit's broken, dude. This is like a this is not even so basketball. This is just a video game at this point. It's awesome. It's it's just an anime. Oh, wait. That's why I love it. it it's an anime. <laughs> And like to be fair, there is much more realistic takes in, in of basketball and anime. I just picked the most outlandish one because it's super fun. Oh, I'm sure. Like it's yeah, just it's a good time to watch. Like it's just hilarious. Every, oh, I enjoyed this show at all times. Thoroughly, dude. <laughs> yeah, everyone everyone has takeover and they're all 99s. Like, yeah. And yeah, so they're able to pull it out barely. And then we get a teaser of this dude. Kuroko says, oh, yeah. yeah, this next dude. I'm scared of him. And Kagami goes, what? Because the name's Almine. He goes, man, fuck Almine, Amine, Anime. I, I got this. Me and two. Right? Kagami shouldn't have said that <laughs> because <laughs> Almine's got pink-haired girl with him who mm-hmm. is going to be a contender <laughs> for waifu of the year. <laughs> just because she's an anime girl. And you know how we love us some anime girls here at the Bench Boys. Sans Eli. This is true. Eli likes himself some Azula, though. That's cartoon girl. <laughs> she That's get, on with the, get on with your pulls. <laughs> she pulls up on Kuroko, hugs him, says, That's my man. Kuroko says, I'm not your fucking man. Get away from me now, you fucking dirty Dude. slut. <laughs> Man's a legend for that. <laughs> get away from me. I'm tired of you. <laughs> They're like, that's your girlfriend? He goes, no! He keeps harassing me. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. And she I goes, just, I was... he's coming. And he goes, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I was just so confused, man. I'm just watching people play basketball, and the next thing I know, I look up, and there's just titties. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Oh, it's don't like, worry. Is... That's not the last time in this show. I... Yeah. Okay. Hey. I'll just shut up, but e- no, anyway, no, keep going. I'm gonna get on to going. one of my. I'm gonna get on to one of my other points. Have you? Do you guys notice that they like guard each other at like half court? Like not mm-hmm. not me to Reem. I'm talking about anybody. Yeah, <laughs> like they do like the court like zoom out thing, and everybody's just d up on everybody, no matter where they are. I'm like, that's hilarious. Even <laughs> the most fucked up part. If Kuroko could learn how to do anything other than pass, he'd be one of the best players on the court. <laughs> Oh, 100%. Oh, he would be the 100%. best player every time. Because you well, can't see him. Well, yeah, that's the thing, though. If he does do other things like make layups or something, like people are going to notice him more. But, so that's that's all, but he only needs he it for, like, else. the fourth. That's what was, but you don't notice it until he's making it. Well, they will. But if he – okay. But Eli's saying is if he's scoring, they notice him now, right? Because that's his right. whole thing is that he's mm-hmm. unnoticeable. My thing is if he doesn't do it for three quarters and just does it in the fourth – he would be unstoppable. Like in a close game, he'd be the best player on the court. I can mm-hmm. see that. Yeah. I just, I feel like it's this man kinda... could start shooting threes. Oh, anytime we need a buzzer beater, Kuroko. Easy. Facts. That's all you I, need. I don't know. Just the one bucket. <laughs> you just could only use it a couple times. I mean, I know, I don't know. Kagami's knees, you can only use so many times as well, I guess. Which oh, is yeah, they interesting. Went, but, <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. He's waiting for his ult to charge up again. <laughs> he said, my leg. Oh, don't worry. Kagami gets himself a little something-something, too, sooner or later. <laughs> to even the odds, even though it doesn't fucking even the odds. 
steroids? Yes. Oh. <laughs> no. He, he went on YouTube and got the Boing Vert program that they always advertise on the basketball oh, highlights. Oh, yeah. You're <laughs> right. He started doing Boing Vert. He started doing 14 squats a day. Got MJ's <laughs> juiced. Yeah, he got the secret stuff. One push up, one secret sit stuff. up, and one chicken breast. <laughs> yes. So. That's all he needs. Kagami's hurt, but he's at, he's always practicing because he's a hooper. This dude pulls up on him and says, hey, you a bitch. And he goes, man, who are you talking to like that? He goes, my name's Albina. He said, I heard about you. What's up? Let's play. We don't see the match. But what we do see is Kagami limping his ass to the gym. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> That's what we do see. He says, that dude different. <laughs> he, got butt fucked. he got his ass busted by Albina. Dude, <laughs> Albina is by far the coolest character in the show. By far. I... Okay. I, I could see I'll why take you it. say that, yeah. Like, I like Kisei, but Almine just got, he's got the swagger, he's got the attitude, he's got the moves. Dude is just a baller. Like he's My dope. note was that he is the shirkiest of sharks. Yeah, I mean, he's just Kevin Durant if on steroids. Like, I don't know. Kevin Durant but, with, like, you know, AI about a foot shorter. <laughs> with, like, yeah, AI much. and Kyrie just handle. Movement. Wap, 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 dude, when he, oh my I god, just, when he started whapping it on, I forgot who it was, Kagami. Yeah, it was Kagami. When he's like, man, I'm tired of playing normal. And he started pulling out the handles. He said, boom, 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 and Kagami fell down. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which Kagami by the way, so dude, was dude. Uh, I mean, he didn't even play the first half of that game. He, he yeah. wasn't even there. He just wasn't. He didn't. He, he wasn't in the locker room. He showed up at halftime, didn't warm up, said, all right, coach, I'm good. Dropped 97 on him, beat him by 500 points. What yeah. more do you want from him? He was doing – he did – he threw the ball behind the backboard, over the backboard, into the hoop for an Antoine. What more do you – Yeah. How are you going to beat this guy? He got around three guys for that too. Really? He got around five guys because they're all guarding him. Like – I mean, he's so cool. <laughs> I, I, I think he's I think he's the best player there. I just don't necessarily think he's the most overpowered with his abilities. Because I think oh, he's okay. just a, I just think he's a really really good basketball player. Like he doesn't really necessarily have one ability that he uses. Like he's just a good basketball player. We haven't even seen it yet for real, I know. Eli. That's, Do you yeah, not remember what fact. they said? Yeah, I remember what they said. I'm just saying, like, he's just like really, he's just way better than everybody else. I, I just don't feel like his power is he's overpowered OP. because, yeah, because he doesn't really have a power. Like, he's just a, a good hooper. basketball player. Like, his yeah, power is exactly. the ability to hit anything. I'm not gonna anywhere. lie to you. There's one character in here who has an even more busted ability than Mitarima. Like pink hair. Yeah. Yeah, I assumed. He, the pink hair or red hair, one of the two. Yeah, the oh, the, the pink hair. Talking about the girl or the the dude with the purple the red, hair. The red hair. The purple. The purple. Right. There's the red hair and purple hair. The red hair. The red I'm hair. afraid of what yeah. the red dude's gonna be able to do, dude. He, red hair looks scary. It's <laughs> when we get there. It's the. It's like it doesn't make sense. It shouldn't. It's about exist. to be the most busted thing ever. It's like it's like if imagine like I, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, of course. But imagine you're just watching this show, right? Like, everyone's like, it's still basketball. And they just go, here's a death note to one of the characters. And he takes oh, it, no. and he just has it. Like, that's how retarded his power is. He just explodes people with his mind. He's just combusting, <laughs> oh, man. that's actually pretty close. What? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> actually, he just he looks at someone, he, and they, like, tear right their ACLs. Yeah. I'm not like he's just dribbling oh, up no. the court. He he shoots someone a look, and they go, "My leg." <laughs> yeah, I feel like and he just walks it on the, up to the, the hoop and right lays there. it in. So Almina like... is an and one mixtape guy, <laughs> and he just he just hoops. They yes. beat him. Kakami's hurt, so they pull him out of the game. They go to the training camp in the beach. Yeah, and... they really got raffle stomped too. Oh, and then they got their they got their center back though, their point center Jokic. Mm-hmm. Jokic is here. <laughs> we haven't seen him play yet. But Jokic is nope. here. How does he look forty? And he's on a high school team, dude. They don't. Right, dude. They all look fucking twenty-seven. Like these people look yeah, like they're in high school. That's facts. That's facts. It's, it's, except for it's just anime, bro. Except for Kuroko. Kuroko looks like he's still in middle school. <laughs> yeah. They all look the same in middle school as they did in high school when they show any flashbacks. 
dude, it's it's a year difference. Yeah, like, they're, what? They're, they're fresh. No, but they're show, they even showed like seventh grade, like two years okay. difference. And I'm like, none of them look any different. Fair, they're all the same size. To be fair, the school in Japan is different than the U.S. I know that. It goes K through six. Middle school is three years. High school is three years. So your freshman mm-hmm. year of like like the freshman year equivalent of high school in the U.S. would be eighth grade in Japan. Mm-hmm. So like they're sophomores right now, technically not freshmen. Right. Also, their center is six foot three. Yes. To put that in perspective for you who don't know, I'm a six footer. Eli's like six four, plus. Tris is like uh, six five four. one. And so we, hey, me man, and Eli, like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> so we could, <laughs> it could be me and Eli. I'm not could that be, short. Me and Eli could and be starting centers in Japan right now. <laughs> Yeah, that's facts, actually. You gotta be like the Shit. tallest, like scariest motherfucker in Japan. Oh my god, it's Eli son. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah, has the should... handles of a guard, but the size of a big. <laughs> that would be awesome. That's my ability, bro. That's my ability. So they go to train in the woods for their Rocky montage on the beach. And Kagami's not allowed to play basketball. He just runs on the beach for two weeks. <laughs> He's out here practicing Baywatch. Yeah, facts. <laughs> While the rest of them are getting pooped on by Mita Rima as he makes it rain three. <laughs> He's like, chef back, lap, whap, <laughs> three. <laughs> You're shit. Supposedly, how that man never seems to have a bad horoscope. Supposedly, they beat him, by the way, like in one of the practice games, which I would have loved to see in that game because I'll call bullshit. Yeah. He must have just no, not played. Him. No, they, they said, lost all three of the practice games. They said they went two and one. No, they lost all three. I could have sworn they said he went to at one at one point. I don't even remember, nope. honestly. I was too distracted by Kagami just jogging. <laughs> so, like I said, Kagami's been doing boing for her <laughs> because the the, <laughs> the, the the coach girl takes him aside. It's like, you realize why, why I haven't had you do this? He's like, because you like drinks. <laughs> He's like, you like Coca-Cola? <laughs> she goes, no, oh you dummy. God. I'm getting making your legs stronger. Look, jump. This man jumps off his left. He gets all the way to the top of the box, <laughs> touches the backboard on the top of the box, which is like ridiculous already. It's very ridiculous. Then he, she says, jump off your right foot. He jumps off his right foot and touches the top of the backboard, man. <laughs> yeah. It's a Dwight Howard shit right there. Wilt Chamberlain-esque. Yeah. Bananas. This dude is 6'2", man. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a 70-inch vert. What the fuck is going on? Dude, it's just... Dude's just Derek Jones Jr., I'm telling you. They could have at least said that he has, like, an absurd wingspan to make it, like, even a little bit more believable. <laughs> but he just yeah, looks like a packed. normal dude who's 6'2", and he can just jump and smack <laughs> the top of the backboard. What's your ability? I have monkey arms. <laughs> <laughs> What's your ability? I did boink vert. <laughs> <laughs> I increased my vertical by five inches in one month. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what about basketball skills? Yes. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yes, I have those. I dunk. <laughs> what else? I rebound. No. What else? I block. I shoot. I shoot threes. No, I shoot. I shoot threes. I shoot threes. I shoot threes. I miss them and like, oh, get yeah? the board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, you shoot threes. Yeah, I don't make them. God, no one boxed out on him on that too. They were no, shocked. Dude, they, they were shocked never. when they box him out. He's like, Nani box out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this show! I was like, I can't believe he's doing this. I know, dude. I even wrote that down earlier in the year or earlier in the uh, season. I was like, dude, they're acting crazy after somebody did like defense on somebody. I was like, what's next? Rebounding? I was like, oh, I was right. (laughs) Anytime someone gets an offensive rebound, how is this possible? I just don't understand. Oh, dude, wait till you see the center play. That's when everything gets hilarious. (laughs) Oh no! His ability is fucking ridiculous. I feel oh, like the purple-haired dude? All... No, 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 no. The their their center. Oh, their center. the third point year. center. Yeah, point center. Yoki. I just feel like it's just all downhill from here, man. No, it gets it's still fun and awesome. It's just the abilities get even more ridiculous. Like it's just I'm down for it. It's getting the supernatural syndrome where things were easy to kill and now they're. You know, or things were hard to kill, and now they're super easy to kill. Oh syndrome. Oh, God. Wait till you see Ignite pass. 
Kai? No. Oh, man. <laughs> Ignite what? past Kai is awesome. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> or the Phantom Shot. <laughs> there's, some, there's some shit we haven't seen yet. What the fuck? Dude? I can't believe this, dude. <laughs> the Conqueror's <laughs> Eye. Oh, dude. What? What? <laughs> that's the name of one of their abilities? We're, don't so worry. Stupid. We're going to watch it next week as a unit. So that's going to be fun. Oh, that's actually facts. <laughs> so. After, Spoiler alert. After, another in-house episode coming next week. After that, and they get back, we get a flashback because Kisei is about to play Almine in the, whatever the preliminaries or whatever the fuck. And we get a flashback of Kisei's origin story about how he just started playing basketball, how he was a savant at anything he just touched. He, you know, he would, he would be just as good as the best players, except for basketball. Because Almine would always whip that candy ass because he's the GOAT. Well, then, Kisei, you know, he's like, I want to beat this guy. So he starts playing, joins the team, meets Kuroko, shits on Kuroko, says he's garbage, finds out he's a really good passer. He goes, wow, he's a really good passer. Ends up becoming friends with Kuroko. Kind of gay, likes him. We can't tell. What? You didn't think he was a little gay? No. Not a little? Not I can see little, it. Not even a little bit? I, <clears throat> no, not even a little bit. I never got that. You never honestly. got Kurokochi or whatever the fuck you call him? That's just it's his thing of respect. Like, I don't know. I didn't. I don't know. Aminichi or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So then Kisei plays Amine. They go head to head, which was lit, and dude, they were just busting each other's ass. <laughs> Kisei was just balling, dude. Like, I mean, I expected of all mean it, but dude, dude, when Kisei finally got that down, I was losing my mind. When he made a little derp face, oh, <laughs> that was hilarious. He was to like, me. not happening. I mean, it was like, what the fuck is that? My face? He's like, derp. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then you see him put his head down. He goes. Tch. When it, when it just goes all black, it's just Almini and Kisa, and Kisa's got like the glow on him, and you see him go, yup. boom, 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 boom. wow, wow. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, this is dope. That's pretty cool. And so now Kisa's gotten to the point where he can copy at least Almini from what we've seen. Yeah. And we don't know if he can do the other ones. Like, if he could, do, like Eli said, if he could do Midorima and Almini, good <laughs> fucking luck. <laughs> Kuroko. Imagine if he could, yeah, everybody. copy Kuroko's passes. He just disappears. <laughs> what the? F- he's invisible. <laughs> That'd be I, I, one, one of my predictions is Kisa is gonna join Kuroko to take down Almine. Oh my god! You think they're gonna do a super team? <laughs> I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna do the Warriors, man. They're gonna team <laughs> That'd up. That'd be and try crazy. To, I, I'm <laughs> thinking it, man. <laughs> You're a team up, make the super team. Oh, yep. that'd be hilarious. Croker's like, you know, I just want to do anything to win. Keisha's like, I heard you. <laughs> I requested a <laughs> trade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. So basically, Keisha still has got the earring on while playing, by the way, which is just drip. I see. Yes. They start cooking. Fuck it. The coolest part was when Keisha went for the layup. Amina goes for the block, fouls him. And then I'll, Kisei does the fucking behind the back <laughs> launch yeah. over my head into the hoop for the Antoine. It's so stupid. I'm just though. like, oh my god, Kisei's popping off. Dude, I, I, was, dude, I was yes. like, this is ridiculous, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Between that and when they both back to back hit the parallel to the ground shot. Oh, man. That was crazy. Oh, my god, dude, yeah. The, the, the surfboard shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Splash. laughs> oh Jesus, the show is amazing. So then it game's getting closer. You know, Amine's you know, just Amine. So it took Kisei a while to get to the point where he could score like him. So Amine had built up a tiny bit of a lead. Kisei goes to do some Amine moves, but he looks at his teammate. And right then, Amine knows what he's gonna do. And he snuffs that shit out. And he smacks that shit like he was fucking shat. He says, get that out of here, you little bitch. And then he goes, how'd you know? He says, because I would never fucking pass, pussy. (laughs) 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 Dude, that was so cool. I mean, it's like, I don't fucking rely on anyone else. I'm the god. (laughs) 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 
How do you oh, think that team geez. feels? Like that team must be like, yeah, we're just here because they're they're icy. Like they're hey. they're really good. But they literally just give it to him and he goes ISO. <laughs> Dude, when they did yeah, the ISO and they were like, why are they all on one side of the court? I was like, oh, he's about to bust his ass. <laughs> They're like, they're all on one side. It's just a minute on the left side alone with Kaga. Oh, shit. Wap, wap. <laughs> <laughs> so good, Eli. Just let the show be ridiculous. <laughs> I'm letting it be ridiculous. I didn't say I didn't like it. And so that happens. Kisei still loses because you can't beat a god. Then you find out mm-hmm. that Kagami... Oh, they were. Oh, Kagami and Kuroko were beefing. What it seemed like a while ago, but they weren't actually beefing. It was that Kagami was being a weirdo because he felt bad because he, you know, he needs Kuroko to make him good because he's actually dog shit, and Kuroko <laughs> needs someone who's at least half decent or he's dog shit. So they both went their separate ways, and they're both trying to get stronger for each other because they got to make the dynamic duo, you know, goaded. And that ends the first season when they meet back up and they go, we'll become the best in Japan together. And they fist bump and it goes, nah, 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 nah. and then it's over. <laughs> yep. But exactly. before it ended, when we got, th- we got two, two shots of the other two guys. So in the flashback episode, we yeah. saw the other two, which is purple hair boy and red hair boy. And at the end of the last episode, we got more of purple hair boy. He like eat right. candy. Yeah, he does. Mm-hmm. He said, I like candy. Nye, nye, nye. He's a big version of me. He said, I like candy. So what well, do you got? Depends. Well, what do you yeah, guys think? a bigger think- version. What do you guys think purple hair is? You like 5-1, so. <laughs> Look, man. We're just going to perpetrate this. This is cool. I'm the same size as most of these Japanese dudes. No, you're taller. 5-1, five 5-2. Five yeah, I would say you're definitely taller. You like? You told me they're not all just like 5-8? No, that's average American male. Average Japanese male is like five five. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you're you're tall in oh. Japan. Yeah. Uh so what do you guys think the ability of Purple Hair Boy is? Uh I'm pretty sure you already told us what it was. I did I? No, it's red hair. Did I? I'm pretty sure you already yeah. Okay, what what did was I? it then, Tristan? Didn't you mention the iron hand business? Or is that not Purple Hair Boy's ability? Iron Hand. I didn't say whose that was. You didn't say whose it was, but I'm guessing. I mean, I'm guessing that's his. So what do you think yeah. the ability and is? If it's then? not his, then it's Saren Center. So what do you think it is? I think it's the the Iron Hand what thing mentioned, where he just it just lets him rebound with one hand over anybody who got two hands on the ball. If there's like seven other hands on the ball, this man gonna pull it down with just one. Mm, I think that's going to be staring center. So then what do you think purple hair is going to be, Eli? Dude, I don't even know how much we can even do at this point. I don't know. Well, okay, so I, I, we, we what we know about him passer. What we know about him is that he's their big. Right. So that's the that's what we know. That's it. <laughs> yeah, okay. If we go off Kise and Amine are the forwards. Yeah. Minarima's the two. This yeah. dude's the big, and the other dude's the point, from what we know, at least. What do you think, you know? Okay. I think Midorim is probably was the small three? forward, but Kise is probably the two. Oh, that's what I was thinking. You think Kise would be the two? I think Kise is smaller than Midorim. But I thought they said that Almine and Kise are, like, the same physically. Are about the same. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, You might be right, yeah. Oh, I had to think about this now. Midori could have just been playing like a stretch four for them, honestly. No way. They haven't even like Tristan. They they they're excited. He's the about, second biggest out of them. They're excited about boxing out. They're not gonna have a stretch four. Yeah. <laughs> what is a stretch four? A stretchy four. <laughs> How can a big man shoot? <laughs> All right, but okay. So Tristan, you think we'll you think rebounding is his ability? Eli, you're not sure. I, I could see rebounding. Like, that is the only thing that honestly makes sense, or put back dunks or something of that nature. All right. So, we'll probably find out next season. Because. Probably. There's three seasons. Yeah. And there's five miracles. So, we've, we've met we've met three. We've played two in official capacity. So, yeah. there, there's still three more to be played in official capacity. 
two more to oh, be played at all. official capacity, yes. Two to be played at all, so. Right, right. We'll find out. I very much enjoy the show for what it is. It's not meant to take itself serious at all. It's not... It's not, like, a good show, as in, like, there's great writing and stuff. It's just a fun show. It's a fun, great sit-down. You watch it. You laugh. You have a great time. It's epic. It's just that kind of show. I could, I'm very much enjoying this show. There's another show that I was going to put on here that is very much a good sports show, right? Like, it's very realistic. It has really good characters, great writing, great matches with great storytelling. But I was like, where's the fun in that? So I put this on instead. <laughs> Fair. That's fair. It's better to talk about fun things. Yeah. One day I'll put on the other I, show. I'll I probably... mean, I probably uh, would not like that one as much as this one, honestly. Oh, you will. The other one's really good. I like it more than this oh, show. Oh, jeez. It's very epic and cool and good writing, and you get hype. And I was screaming at my TV at one point at the other show. Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> like I was watching an actual game. I was like, let's fucking go. <laughs> but that's called that. The other one's called Haikyuu. That's about volleyball. Oh, okay. I keep, I keep seeing oh, stuff. Oh, that about one. That, oh, yeah. That show's excellent. If you guys want to watch it on your own, you can. I know, Eli, you don't watch anime on your own, but Tristan, yeah. I know you dabble. IQ's excellent. I'm starting to do better, yes. But Kuroko's is very much just the Dragon Ball Z of basketball. <laughs> Action. It's very fun. Fun. Cool abilities. Dope awesome characters that aren't good writing but they're so cool i i love it i i'm gonna refrain from giving an official score but i definitely feel like it's like it's like a nine for me just because of how entertaining it is that's fair uh yeah i'd agree i i'm gonna i don't know i guess lowball it compared to you guys i'm just gonna give it a seven and a half just based off there's this midpoint in the season where i feel like it was very repetitive throughout the episodes. Like they were just kind of playing basketball every time. And I know you said, you know, it's not about the writing and all that, but like <laughs> it was just very repetitive. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's three episodes in a row that they were playing the same game. And I was like, I kind of want to know more about the backstory of the characters. And that was what was cool about uh, Kise and Omine later is they gave some backstory and I kind of like that kind of thing. So that definitely turned it around, but I don't know. I'm overanalyzing it, but it was just kind of, repetitive if i'm going to summarize it up and that's your right to overanalyze so next week we're going to come back with season two because that's also on netflix so be excited for that fans or supporters or whatever the fuck you people who don't listen to the show are check that out next week have some fun with us we're gonna go watch the ufc fights so be ready to hear about that next week (laughs) because you know we always talk about it and if you guys want to skip it, just skip it. <laughs> Don't go. Yep. Why you guys should talk about the fight for? I thought you were the binge boys, not the fight boys. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. And if you're listening to this on YouTube, then you have no idea what we're talking about anyway. So yeah, go check us out on the podcasting app because we have bonus content on there that you're not seeing on YouTube. Yeah. Why are you even? Why even on here though? Like, to be honest, like, why are you watching podcasts on YouTube? There's better options. Well, these are technically reviews, Eli. These aren't really a podcast. Oh, I guess this is a review. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Come on. They don't, they don't, they don't know. They half of it anyway. Yeah, they don't know. They, they don't know who we be. In they, the words of DMX. They just comment. They just comment. <laughs> they don't know our story is all. No. So, I wanted to remind <laughs> you guys that my name was Enrique. My name was Eli. My name is Tristan. And I want you to know that the earring on the ear of Kise is the drippiest thing in the planet.